synchronization that we've been talking about, one of the things that I find most appealing about it is how universal it is. That it occurs at every scale of nature, from subatomic to cosmic. It uses every communication channel that nature has ever devised, from gravitational interactions, electrical interactions, chemical, mechanical. I mean, you name it, any of the two things can influence each other. Nature uses that to get things in sync. Synchronicity happens for a reason. There are no accidents and no coincidences. By Dreamcatcher, February 11th, 2016. Website, dreamcatcherreality.com. Produced by Higher Self. Have you stumbled upon an old friend? Seeing someone doing the same thing or speaking the same words as you? Or maybe experienced an accident? Are you thinking of what a coincidence? Well, I can see an accident like this. Well, you should be. Because every single coincidence brings a message to you. In fact, there are no coincidences and accidents. There's only synchronicity everything happens for a reason. Revealing synchronicity, the science behind coincidence. The truth is, everything in our life is life. From the past, to the present and future, every single coincidence or accident we stumble upon is life. No matter how small or big the movement is, it is all about synchronicity. spiritual signal to the universe, as opposed to the strong signal that the universe sends you by sinking everything around you. By understanding synchronicity and seeing things not as an ordinary, but a committed person, you are able to connect more deeply with your inner sink, and actually don't work hard to make the things you want happen. Instead, you will just believe in them and let them happen, without any force whatsoever. So. Let's face it, synchronicity is just like a mirror and whatever you commit to and believe in, will reflect back to you. That being said, if you agree with the law of seeking, you will be able to connect deeply and send strong messages on a spiritual level. Aside from this, you will be a better person, more confident and committed towards every action you bring. In a nutshell, understanding synchronicity translates to establishing harmony in everything that you see, and being consciously aware of everything happening around you. Turn in the tide, and see chances work for you instead of against you. If you have ever heard of the movie's law and believe in it, you are on a good way to understanding synchronicity. Yes, it's a common fact that when something goes wrong, it may just continue going wrong over time. Synchronicity can also work against you. However, if you expect bad things to happen and continue believing in the Murphy's Law, you are sinking with your inner negativity. The science behind the chance meeting, not a coincidence. Bumped into someone somewhere? Thinking it's a coincidence, luck, or chance. The 
real answer in this accident is the science of chance meeting. Moreover, it is the reason for something to happen. There is always a reason and a connection to see someone and experience something. Coincidence is only an illusion. Our past, present, and future are all linked. And although we may not understand everything that happens to us, there is always a reason, and that reason becomes apparent at some point in time. A final word. A quote from Carl Jung, quote, Synchronicity is an ever-present reality for those who have the eyes to see. End quote. You can start noticing synchronicities with people, numbers, events, etc. Remember to accept synchronicity in its real form, as a way of spiritual and universal intelligence constantly trying to teach us, reach us, and share love, support and guidance. Learn to be open to synchronicity and start living a meaningful life. All of our science courses tell us the way to solve a problem is to break it into smaller parts and analyze the parts. And that has been phenomenally successful for every branch of science. But the great frontier in science today is what happens when you try to go back and put the parts together to understand the whole. That's the, the field of complex systems. That's why we don't understand the immune system very well. We don't understand consciousness very well or the economy. It seems like the whole is more than the sum of the parts. That's the cliche that has entranced me for my whole research career. I, I want to understand how can you figure out the properties of the whole given the properties of the parts. And I'd love to hear from you and see you here and become a part of all of this. I strongly believe that the more of us who focus on this and talk about it and believe in it, especially when it comes to psychic development, which a lot of people don't think is possible for everybody to do, but I know from firsthand experience it is, the better. I think it's kind of the general direction we're going in in our evolution as humans, kind of awakening to these gifts and abilities that we all have access to. So on to angels.